Okay, so the um, the story about uh, Dharma Mulroney, Mulroney, Mulroney. I don't even know how to say it. Um, I was selling my works. Um, in the uh, Meatpacking uh, District, uh, Gainsford Street and uh, Washington Street um, by the um, the New Whitney uh, Museum. And this was throughout the construction of the New Whitney. I witnessed the whole process of the construction by just selling my works uh, right in the corner of that particular area and um, it was very interesting you know I think it was very um, profound to see how they uh, started from zero until became the new Whitney and um, while I would just you know sell my pieces to tourist and you know why not but um so this actor i would sometimes create the works uh on the spot and i would bring large pieces of um of paper rolls of paper uh larger than this one and I would start just working and I would get in the zone and get my headphones and I would get in the zone and uh, work for hours nonstop. Um, and this actor approached me in a very casual way, uh, but somehow uh, being conscious of the time that he would spend um, you know, with me because of his celebrity status. And of course he would, would, you know, uh, it would get recognized sooner or later and people would start gathering around him. So I'm making one of my works and, and Derma approaches me, um, in a very kind and um, you know modest way, um, and wants to to wants to buy one of my works, an abstract, a beautiful piece, very very uh, extra large, bigger than this one, and abstract, you know. Uh, my classic lines and, and geometrical you know, figures and, and, and um, uh, was um, white paper, it was beautiful. We, you know, for obvious reasons, we're not gonna talk about the money itself because what I really wanted to um, well, by the way, just to, you know, share the story. Um, so he was super cool and I never really acknowledged, I mean, he kind of like knew, okay, you do know who I am and um, you're an artist and, and um, he, what I can share with you uh, about what he said to me and he was very, uh, you know, clear about, about that is that, um, the piece was going to be displayed uh, in his living room and um, uh, and he was going to frame it, you know, beautifully. And a lot of people were going to, you know, see uh, my work. So for any artist out there that, um, You know, you have two kinds of artists in this world, in my opinion. The ones that obviously live and die for their art, 
and the ones that somehow uh, no, I don't really want to contradict myself because uh, if we're talking about money of how important money is for the artist's uh, survival, then it, it's just a catch-22, okay? That's what it is. It's a catch-22. But nevertheless, um, Dharma said to me that uh, the piece was going to be uh, you know, shown to all his friends and and for any artist that knows about how important is where uh, your work would be displayed besides a museum, if that's what you want to aim for. Um, I was very conscious, I think this is 2016, I was very conscious of of how to self-guard my works with the right people sometimes. Uh, because I knew that I could cover more territory and try to advance faster in the art world, obviously, if my works would fall you know, in the right hands. So, uh, you know, he, we made the transaction I gave, I gave him the work and I was super happy. It gives you a, a push, you know, of confidence to, you know, um, to know that your artwork is surrounded by important people, especially the art world. You know, he's an artist, he, he's a terrific actor and, um, uh, that's how I grew up surrounded with, you know, actors, musicians, you know. Yeah. So uh, it was really, really beautiful experience, uh, and it was super kind to me. So um, yeah, I'm very proud of that, um, you know, achievement per se. Um, yes.